I hear he's been real busy keeping an eye on strangers. The thing is, spying on people I isn't am. very polite. But you always say there aren't enough rangers and you need more help. Spacers, scumbags and scat. Hi. Please disregard my attempted and Get a moment. Can we talk? I'm ready to make some waves. <laughs> Ever since we've started uh, being a couple, things have been going well. Like, really well. But at a certain point, um, Cora, we, we got to make sure Cora's all right with this. I keep meaning to, and you know, there's just never the right time. All right, I keep checking out about it. You got me. I'm just so damn happy. It's hard to rock the boat. Right. Sorry, you, you know you play hell with my attention span sometimes. But it's not just about you and me. It's about my daughter too. I'm not sure how much you've talked with Cora, but I think you should. Hey, if you're happy with what we have right now, you don't have to. But if we get much more serious, I need to know Cora's on board. Oh, I'm gonna talk with her too. But Cora and I are a package deal. She needs to get to know you and at least be okay with us being an item. I really hope that's not a deal breaker. Ah, don't worry about it. She doesn't bite. Well, not anymore. Dad, do you think Solomon Co. would have liked me? Sure. Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whooping. <laughs> but I think he would have liked the man I grew into. Hi! Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? Good. I've been wanting to ask you something, too. Me first. Why did you help us out with mom? It was super dangerous. I know. I mean, anyone around the two of you knows that. What are your intentions with my father? Just so you know, I like you too. Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? You're very welcome.
So, how'd the Tarver Cora go? Her blessing. Huh. <laughs> Cora and her Jane Austen novels. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know, luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well, finding you feels like uh, destiny. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. But you gotta know, I'm crazy about you. And, well, how do you see this playing out? How do you do that? Right when I think I've got it all figured out, you just rock my world again. In the very best way. I mean, I hoped, maybe even prayed, you mean it, right? There's so much going on out there. A lot of it bad. But all I can think of is how lucky I am. Because I found you. And I get to be with you. Well, apparently we're having a ceremony. Anytime you're ready, head over to Aquila City. Figure it's about time to make some genuine good memories at the Co Estate. I can't wait. I hope you're having a good day. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Bye. Robbery sounded intense. Apparently, we're having a ceremony today. Although right now, 
It's just me and the mayor cooling our heels here. Jacob, it's a special day. This always happens. No, this is my son and his usual sloppiness. Yeah, you're right. Manners. Welcome to my house. Well, in a, in a sense, your house, too. Soon. Listen, you know, I know. Hell, the neighbors know my son and I don't always get along. I do care about him. He's blood. And he gave me Cora. But the way he looks at you, you, you have a chance at real happiness together. So, uh, thank you. What? Well, I, uh, I guess you're right. Being that you're so close to Sam, I asked if I could spend some time with Cora after the ceremony. He turned me down. You can put in a good word about me getting to see Cora next time around. I miss her so bad it genuinely hurts. He listens to you. I don't know. I was afraid you'd say that. Awkward small talk over. Lillian Hart should have arrived at the starport. Might be nice if someone went to meet her. And better fetch Cora, too. She's exploring the city. Which means she's at Sinclair's bookstore because she's, well, Cora. It's good to see Cora, at least. Hopefully, second time's a charm. I got a new book. Charles Dickens. Fiction. Great expectations. Not related to today. Or is it? <laughs> what time is it? Shit! Oh, sorry. Swear. I lost track of time. I know, right? And Sinclair's is absolutely the best. I want to let you know I'm okay with this. The ceremony? Dad is dad, but he's lonely and you make him happy. And I like your ship loads. Oh, and you too, of course. I, uh, wow, no tears. Big girl, I love you too, very, very much. So, big day, let's get to it. I'll get to the estate right away.
is going to be fired for sure. Keep your nose clean. The last thing I want is... One that's picking me up? Nice to see you in a less life threatening situation. Happy to be here. Just to let you know, this shouldn't be awkward. Sam and I were never meant for each other, and we both moved on from whatever we had. Some unsolicited advice. Be there for him, all the way. He and Cora deserve that. You're welcome. I know the way to the Co Estate. Meet you there. One more drunk and disorderly. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Having a good one? here. You ready to start the shindig? Okay, I'll let Mr. Cartwright know. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> One of my favorite duties as mayor is to preside over joyous occasions like this. Couples like yourselves, full of love and affection and eager to share a life together. Well, it's a blessing. Oh, we're a blessing now. Mayor's laying it on real thick, Annie. <laughs> I had mine with a side of delicious anticipation. Ahem. <clears throat> Sam, have you prepared any vows? Oh, right. Um. Here goes. Um. Life comes easy for some folks. They get most things right the first time, but uh, that has never, ever been me. But this time, I know I got it right because of you. I know you've had a tough life too, but we really are the lucky ones. There are a million billion stars out there. To find anything that really matters is kind of a miracle. And as the good mayor says, I'm truly blessed because I have you in my life.
You and me both. I understand you wanted a moment here, Sam? I never met someone who knew me. The real me. And still wanted to be with me. I want you to have this. It's my Freestar Ranger badge. Looking back, I'm grateful. Because every step and every misstep brought me closer to you. That's very touching. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the power vested in me from the Articles of Confederation, I officially, and quite happily, declare you life mates. Let me be the first to congratulate you both. treat you right. Hey, if you go, I'll follow. In a romantic sort of way, not stalkery. Only if it's something about us, my favorite subject. I... <laughs> I, uh... Words escape me. I just love you. The only time I've been this serious with someone, it was nothing like this. Not even close. Another day in paradise with you. <laughs> but time to get back to work. Better or worse? Part of the co family now. I can't stay long, duty calls. But thanks, Sam, for inviting me. I got a good feeling about the two of you. Congratulations to the happy couple. <laughs>